Hi again, everybody, and welcome back to Ivy English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela, and I'm Wesley. Today is July twelfth. We have an important lesson for you today in medical history. We call it the past one hundred years of insulin. 我们的中文标题是胰岛素啊，就是 insulin， 胰岛素，糖尿病友的一线生机。I'll read through this、uh, ooh, four paragraphs, and then we'll go back sentence by sentence to explain the content for you. Being diagnosed with diabetes was once considered a death sentence. Once people learned they had the disease, they usually died within a few months or a few years if patients followed extreme diets. This dire situation changed after Doctor. Frederick Banting and his assistant Charles Best discovered how to isolate insulin on July twenty seventh, nineteen twenty one. Insulin is produced in the organ called the pancreas. It is a necessary hormone required by our bodies to regulate the sugar levels in our blood. People with diabetes are unable to produce insulin or adequate amounts of insulin. Without insulin, nutrients cannot be correctly distributed to vital organs throughout the body. As a result, these organs slowly shut down until the body dies. Therefore, it is essential. The diabetic people regularly receive insulin shots to survive. At the turn of the 20th century, scientists first discovered that the pancreas was responsible for producing insulin. In tests, animals that had their pancreas removed showed common symptoms of diabetes. After this discovery, the question then became. How to isolate insulin from the pancreas, and how to administer it to patients with diabetes. In 1921, Dr. Banting and Best figured out how to extract insulin from a dog's pancreas. They later used the insulin to treat another dog with diabetes successfully. In 1922. A more refined form of insulin was isolated from the pancreases of cattle. This insulin was then administered as shots to people suffering from diabetes. The method pioneered by Dr. Banting and Best benefits millions of people with diabetes. Dr. Banting was therefore awarded a Nobel Prize at age 32. Remaining the youngest winner in the field. So, being diagnosed with diabetes was once considered a death sentence. It was considered that it would kill you because it would. You were guaranteed to die. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. 好，所以这一句的主词是个动名词片语。Being diagnosed with 就是被诊断出来有什么疾病啊。那在这里就是被诊断出来有 diabetes， 有糖尿病这个疾病。那这样的一件事情呢？ Was once, 曾经一度是 considered 被认为是一个什么呢 ？A death sentence 是死刑。所以曾经有一度呢，这个你如果被诊断出有糖尿病，那就等于是判了死刑。Once people learned they had the disease,、uh, the disease that we call diabetes, they usually died within a few months. They Slowly felt weaker and weaker, and got sicker and sicker. They went to see the doctor, and the doctor said, "Sorry,、uh, you have diabetes, and、uh, you probably won't live very long. However, we can extend your life. We can continue your life, maybe for a few years, but you must follow this extreme diet. And we don't have an example of that, but it doesn't sound like a a very Nice experience. I imagine that it was a carb-free diet. I don't know. I'm guessing. Hmm. 好，所以呢，这个一旦这个人们 learned， 他们一旦得知他们有这个疾病 had the disease 之后呢，他们通常就会 died 会死亡 within a few months， 几个月之内就会死亡。
，或者是他们会在几年内死亡啊 ，a few years， 表示他们可能可以拖一段时间，再活个几年啊。那如果说这些病人呢 followed 就是遵循 extreme 非常严格的、很极端的 diets 饮食限制啊，所以重点是他会严格的限制饮食啊，可能碳水化合物啊、糖啊都不能吃啊，那这样他们才能活久一点。This dire situation, if something is dire, it's really, really, really bad and probably leading to death. You don't want to be in a dire situation. But this situation changed after Dr. Frederick Banting and his assistant Charles Best, who was the best assistant, I guess, <laughs> er, discovered how to isolate insulin on July twenty seventh, nineteen twenty one. What did he mean? They found a way to isolate it. They found a way to put it in a room by itself. <laughs> no, what they mean is they were trying to get just insulin, the chemical, and nothing else. And you get insulin from at that time. The pancreases of animals, so they're trying to figure out how to get the insulin out of the pancreas. Hmm. 好，所以这一个 dire situation， 这是一个很常见的 collocation， 就是严峻的状况。这个很严峻的状况，就是得到糖尿病几乎就是死亡了，好，或者是死刑了。这样的严峻的状况呢 ，changed， 改变了。在什么时候是改变呢？在这个 Doctor Frederick Banting， 啊，还有他的 assistant， 他的助手 Charles Best。好，那这个。之后呢，就改变了。那他们两个人做了什么事呢？他们 discovered， 他们发现了 how to 如何 isolate， 就是分离。好 ，insulin 如何分离胰岛素？这是在一九二一年七月二十七日所发生的事情。Second paragraph. Oh, isn't this what our resident scientist Angela just told us? Hmm. Insulin is produced in the organ called the pancreas. 好，所以呢，这个胰岛素呢 is produced 在哪里被产生呢？在一个器官 organ， 这个器官就被称为胰脏，哈 ，pancreas。It is unnecessary hormone, not the pancreas, but the insulin. Um, a hormone is a really strange group of chemicals that run around our body. That I mean, we talk about hormones, and we usually talk about them as in sex hormones, like women have estrogen and men have testosterone, but There's so many more things to what hormones do. Hormones are basically messenger chemicals in the body. They influence our moods. They influence our well-being. They influence so much. Like hormones are very complicated and interesting things, and scientists are still studying them to this very day. Cortisol is a hormone, by the way. It's a hormone that teaches that tells you you are very scared right now. <laughs> you are very stressed right now. Cortisol is a stress hormone. It makes you alert and ready for danger.、Um, you know, this just hormones do so many cool things. Hormones are fun,、um, and I just want to emphasize: I am not a scientist. <laughs> I am just somebody who likes to read a lot. Okay, I have a lot of things that I've read running around in my brain. That's why I know these things. I am not a scientist. I am a reader. <laughs> okay.、Um, back to our article, though. It says it is a necessary hormone. It's this chemical produced by our body to have an effect on our tissues, and it is required by our bodies to regulate the sugar levels in our blood. If you regulate something, you control the amount for a purpose. So, if you regulate, for instance, the sale of something, you're allowing some people to buy it and other people to not, because you have some purpose. You want some people to have it available to them, but you don't want everybody to use it. So that's regulating something. Yeah, you can regulate traffic if you're going to have a、right. particular event downtown,、uh, and、uh, you know, fifty thousand people show up for a Lady Gaga concert.、Uh, after the concert lets out, they will have special、uh, police men as well as. Areas where people can、uh, travel or where they can't, they will regulate the traffic. Yeah, they will regulate the flow of traffic. So your body will regulate the amount and the flow of insulin because insulin. Well, if you read this article, your main impression could be insulin is good. However, too much insulin isn't. You need to have just the right amount of insulin at any amount of time. 好，所以呢，我们来看看这个句子。好，他说。胰岛素呢是一种 necessary 必要的这个 hormone 荷尔蒙。那 required by our bodies 是由我们身体所需要，它被我们的身体所需要来干嘛呢？要 regulate 我们身体需要
这个胰岛素来调节 regulate 的调节啊。那像 Bruce 刚刚讲到这个 regulate traffic 啊，或者是 regulate the flow of traffic， 就是管制交通或者管制交通的流量。所以，我们身体需要胰岛素这样的荷尔蒙啊，来调节 the sugar levels。血糖的浓度 in our blood 啊，在我们血里面的浓度，好，这调节蛮重要，因为这个啊，刚刚 Angel 老师也有讲说，这个胰岛素呢，呃，没有胰岛素不行，但是胰岛素太多也不行啊，所以要调节那个量。People with diabetes are unable to produce insulin or adequate amounts of insulin. There are some people who uh, cannot, uh, their pancreas cannot produce naturally any. Or enough insulin to regulate or control the flow of sugar around、uh, the bloodstream, and here sugar、uh, is the power. It is the fuel that allows muscles to work and and organs to function. 好，所以 people with diabetes 就是有糖尿病的人呢 ，are unable to. 他们没有办法 produce 产生这个胰岛素啊。或者是他们没有办法产生 adequate amounts of insulin， 这个要么就没办法生产胰岛素，要么就是他们生产的量没有办法生产到 adequate 足够充足的 amounts 分量啊，所以这个就他们身体会有问题。And without insulin, nutrients cannot be correctly distributed. They can be distributed, but they might go to the wrong place. We're talking about correctly or done properly. So distributed where? To vital organs, organs that you need to stay alive. Actually, are there any organs that are non-vital? Reproductive <laughs> organs are non-vital. You can still live without your reproductive organs. That's right. And after a certain age, they sort of just shut down. They're no longer functional. That's not true in women's case. We need our uterus and ovaries all the way to the end. They're the site of very important form hormone regulations, and also uteruses are a major part of how, part of how our body supports itself. They find out that women whose uteruses have been removed have so many problems、oh. afterwards. A uterus is super essential to a woman's body. You cannot just get rid of it. It is essential. It is a vital organ. So I'm just going to say maybe men have things that can be removed and they'll be okay. Yeah, prostate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or oh, you know what do you call it? That thing, the appendix. Appendix is an organ.、Right. Is it an organ or just a sac? Hmm. I think it's an organ. Okay. So. One or two of our organs are not vital, but most of them are very vital. So, yeah, we need insulin in order to get the right nutrients to the organs that we need so thoroughly. Okay, so we see, if we don't have insulin, then the nutrients, the nutrients, can't be correctly, correctly distributed to. It can't be 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 correctly Organs 就是重要的器官。这个 vital 在这里呢，它是重要的。但 vital 这个字本来它的意思是跟生命有关的。好，所以重要到怎么样？没有它就会死的这种叫做重要啊。所以刚刚这个 Bruce 老师跟 Angel 老师这个，哎，给我们上了一堂这个英文的生物课啊。这个人体的器官啊，有没有什么是这个呃不是 vital 的器官啊？讨论的结果是呢，哎，各位自己啊，这个 appendix， yeah， 大概。盲肠，其实我也不确定盲肠是不是个器官了、啊、哈，所以总之好，我们重点在这里呢，各位学好这个 vital organs 就是重要的器官，没有会死的器官啊。那所以呢，这些是全身的这些器官啊，所以如果没有胰岛素，那养分就没有办法输送到这身体的这些重要器官。Okay, as it says in the next sentence, we've been discussing this, and this next sentence shouldn't be a surprise. As a result of、uh, the Importance of insulin in the body; these organs,、uh, vital organs, will slowly shut down until the body dies. Simply put, you cannot live without your vital organs. But before you die, you go into a diabetic coma. Yeah,、uh, which is just it, as terrible as it sounds. Ah,、uh, so you know, as a result, 结果呢，这些器官就会 slowly 慢慢的 shut down， 就是关闭或者衰竭。一直到 the body dies， 身体死亡啊，而且呢，这个在死亡之前哈，你会陷入昏迷啊，那也很糟糕。So therefore, it is essential. It is not only super important; it is needed、necessary. for life. Yeah, it's necessary. Thank you. 
that diabetic people, people with diabetes, so diabetic is the um, adjective. Thank you, the adjective <laughs> form. So diabetic people regularly receive insulin shots to survive. If you regularly do something or regularly get something, it means it's done on a schedule. It's done on a regular basis. It happens within a fixed time period. Ah,、uh, 因此呢 it is essential that 就这件事情是很必要的。什么事情很必要呢？就是这些有糖尿病的人，哈 ，diabetic people， 他们 regularly， 他们固定的 receive 得到这 insulin shots， 就是胰岛素的注射啊，这样他才能够 survive， 才能够存活。All right, third paragraph at the turn of the twentieth century, and that refers to technically from. 1899 to 1900 to 1901, during that period of time, scientists first discovered that the pancreas, this organ that produces insulin, was responsible for producing insulin. They found out where it comes from. Hmm. 好，所以呢，在二十世纪初，哈 ，at the turn of the twentieth century， 哈，理论上它指的是一八九九到一八呃一九零一年，哈，但是这个现在也不一定那么严格，啊，但就是二十世纪初，那科学家们怎么样呢 ？First discovered， 他们首次发现这个 pancreas 就是胰脏 was responsible for 是负责 producing 生产胰岛素，好，所以其实。胰脏生产胰岛素，这是二十世纪初才发现的。In tests, animals that had their pancreas removed showed common symptoms of diabetes. So they kind of proved how diabetes works by taking out the pancreas from some poor test animals and showed that yes, they became sick exactly in the same way that diabetics became sick. 所以呢，在实验当中，哈 ，in tests。Animals, 一些动物 that had their pancreas removed, ah,、uh, pancreas is removed. 他们身身上的胰脏被移除掉的这些动物，哈，所以一些胰脏被移除的动物怎么样呢 ？Showed 显示出 common 一些很常见的 symptoms of diabetes， 糖尿病的一些症状，哈，所以就证明了这个胰脏跟糖尿病是有关系的。After this discovery, the question then became. How to isolate insulin from the pancreas and how to administer it to patients with diabetes. So actually, we have two questions here: How to isolate insulin from the pancreas? How can we get insulin from the pancreas in humans? And how to administer it? How to put it into people who have diabetes? We would call them.、Um, They're sick, and so we call them patients. 好，那在这个发现之后呢 ？The question then became. 接下来的问题就变成什么呢？就是你如何能够 isolate 分离啊这个 insulin from the pancreas？ 你如何可以从胰脏分离出胰岛素？然后呢 ？How to？ 另外一个问题是你如何能够 administer？ 就是给予好，或者是施打这个药物啊？给怎么样 ？Patients with Diabetes 就是有罹患糖尿病的病人，你怎么样把这个分离出来的胰岛素，怎么样把它注入到病人身上 ？In 1921, Dr. Banting and Best, his best assistant,、mm. <laughs> figured out how to extract insulin from a dog's pancreas. To extract something is to take it out from. So we use the word isolate earlier in the article, but Actually, the process is extraction. They finally figured out how to get the insulin out of a pancreas, because then you can put it into somebody else. 好，所以一九二一年的这个 Doctor Banting 哈跟这个 Best， 他们 figured out， 他们想出了如何能够 extract， 就是抽取或者萃取这个胰岛素啊，从一只狗的这个胰脏萃取的胰岛素。They later used the insulin to treat another dog with diabetes successfully. So after they extracted the insulin from one dog, they found a patient dog, a dog who did not have、uh, its pancreas, or the pancreas was not producing enough insulin. So it went from the insulin from the dog A was put into dog B, and it was successful. So it worked. 好，所以 they later 他们稍后呢就使用他们所萃取出来或者是抽取出来的这个胰岛素呢，去 to 哈、啊
treat 治疗 another dog 另外一只狗啊，那另外这只狗它是有糖尿病的，结果呢 ，successfully 它成功的治疗了另外一只有糖尿病的狗。In 1922, a more refined form of insulin. If something is more refined, it's usually purer or more itself. It's just been it's been worked on a lot more.、Um, and this refined form of insulin was isolated from the pancreases of cattle, so the the multiple pancreases of cows. 好，所以一九二二年呢，一个更精炼的 refined. Form of insulin, 哈，另外一种更精炼的这个呃胰岛素呢 ，was isolated from 被分离出来的。从哪里被分离出来呢？从牛的胰脏身上啊，或者从牛的胰脏上面呢分离出来了。And because cattle are so much larger than people, you can get a lot of insulin from one pancreas. Ito, yeah, from from one head of cattle,、uh, compared to a dog, which are normally much smaller than people. So that was a wise move. This insulin was then administered as shots to people suffering from diabetes. So now the experiment was: all right, let's. It works from dog to dog. What about cattle? Maybe their insulin will work on people. 好，所以呢，这个从牛只身上分离出来或者萃取出来的胰岛素呢 ，was then 接着就 administered 就注射到哈 as shots 以注射的形式。施予或者是给予啊一些 people suffering from diabetes， 也就是得到或者是因糖尿病所苦的人啊，也就拿他们拿来治疗看看行不行。The method pioneered by Dr. Banting and Best. So if you pioneer something, you do it first. So this method that they did first benefits millions of people with diabetes. It's now it requires pennies to produce insulin right now. It is one of the cheapest drugs you can produce. Hmm. 好，所以 the method pioneered 就是以谁为先锋，也就是以首以谁首创的。所以 Dr. Banting 跟 Best 他们首创的这个啊、呃、这种方法呢 ，benefits 造福了。Millions of people with diabetes 造福了数以百万计有糖尿病的人。Dr. Banting was therefore awarded a Nobel Prize, probably in medicine, at age 32, remaining the youngest winner in the field. That would be the field of medicine. 嗯，所以呢 ，Dr. Banting 哈、啊、因此被 awarded 被授予的诺贝尔奖啊，在三十二岁就得到了诺贝尔奖啊。Remaining 至今仍然是 the youngest winner in the field. 至今仍然是他那个领域里面最年轻的一个诺贝尔奖得主啊！但他造福了这么多人，真的是蛮不简单的。Okay, so you might have noticed a box at the bottom of our page that says, "What did you learn?" So I want to ask you, "What did you learn?" The question number one is, "What is the function of insulin for our bodies? What do we need insulin for?" 好，所以胰岛素对我们的身体有什么功用呢？ And we learned in the second paragraph that it regulates the sugar levels in our blood, which is very, very important. 嗯，好，那答案是他们会调节我们这个血糖的量，血糖的浓度。Second question: How do people suffering from diabetes receive insulin using Dr. Banting and Best's method? 好，所以呢，有糖尿病的人是怎么样得到这个利用 Banting？ 还有 Best 他们的方法得到胰岛素呢 ？In the last paragraph, we learned this insulin was then administered as shots to people suffering from diabetes. So it was administered through a needle. 好，所以呢是用注射的形式得到这个胰岛素。All right, that's it for today's lesson. Please join us whenever you can. Until the next time, bye bye. 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 